Welcome to the Crown Valley Community Pool in Laguna Niguel, California. I'm Kurt Wilson, this is Kevin McMahon, and we're here with divers from all over Southern California to introduce you to the principles of judging one of the world's most beautiful sports. In competitive diving, a full panel of judges consists of either five or seven judges per contest. The skills being judged include the approach, the takeoff, the flight, which is the elevation and the execution, and then the entry into the water. The flight can include various combinations of spinning and twisting motions. The more complicated the dive, the higher the degree of difficulty of that particular dive. But we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. This is supposed to be an introduction to judging, so before we get into degrees of difficulty and the principles of judging, let's start with the basics. Okay, gotcha. Basics in springboard diving. There are five different groups of dives. Forward, back, reverse, inward, and twisting. Dives can be performed in various positions. Tuck, with the diver bent at both knees and waist during flight in as compact of a position as possible. Pike, with the diver bending only at the waist while maintaining straight legs. Straight. And free, which is used in twisting dives and utilizes a combination of at least two different positions. This segment of the video will give you the principles that you as a judge need to apply in awarding a score to a particular dive. We'll go over some ground rules and let the diver show you some dives to practice scoring. We'll critique the dives and tell you what scores we think are appropriate and why. The angle with which you see a dive will affect your perception and your score. Judges are placed on the side of the pool near the end of the diving board where the divers will be performing the dives. Worry less about whether your score matches ours and focus more on seeing what we're seeing and coming up with a score that falls within a point in either direction of our suggested scores. The other important duty is to disregard the degree of difficulty when scoring a dive. Apply the same standards to a front double somersault as you would to a forward dive tuck. How that works is that in a contest with five judges present, the highest and lowest scores are then eliminated. The remaining three scores are then added together and multiplied by the degree of difficulty to get the total awards earned on that particular dive. If there are seven judges present, the highest and lowest scores are still eliminated. The remaining five scores are added together and multiplied by the degree of difficulty of that particular dive. And then that total is multiplied by 0.6 to come up with the total award for that particular dive. All competitive diving is scored on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being an incomplete or failed dive and 10 a dive performed perfectly. Theoretically, every dive is initially worth a 10 and judges deduct points for mistakes and shortcomings in the execution of the dive. 